Well, it is your chance to explore, discover, and grow your love of books while meeting other writers. The Ottawa Book Expo is Sunday at the Horticulture Building. With a preview, we're joined by Raymond Samuels and Sam Dubé. Good morning to you. Good both. morning, Trisha. Thanks for having us. Yes, well, thanks for coming in. I, uh, When I hear of a book expo, I think back to the book fairs we used to have as kids. Yeah. Right? Like growing up yeah. kind of in that world where you were so excited about a brand new book. Yeah. Right? Awesome. So let's talk about what this expo is all about. Yeah, so the uh, book expo is... Um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to evolve it in sort of an urbanized type of environment where we have uh, showcase fabulous writers yeah. in Ottawa okay. by bringing in some uh, other artisanal and interesting businesses in Ottawa, like fabulous restaurants. Mm -hmm. We're going to have Thanagy Restaurant, Si Senor, and we're going to have some other surprises for people as well. Terrific. So, yeah, this is being billed as Ottawa's newest grassroots festival, right? Well, no doubt, yeah. yes. And we also have a charitable focus as well that Sam can kind of talk about. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, we're here to address uh, literacy, mm -hmm. or rather the problem of illiteracy, which which is very silent in our society. Yeah. And I was a university professor for over a decade and uh, I went back to school a little bit later in life and it was shocking at how much was actually lost mm -hmm. along the way. So for instance, when I went back to school, we learned everything off laptops. Yes. And with the culture of texting today, mm -hmm. short, maybe not so concise communication, there's a lot that's lost. And so what we want to do is we want to re-instill that love of something more tangible. That's right. the children's book by Laurie Campbell, but something more tangible so that we can uh, re-embrace that, uh, that, that, that communication. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like all those things that were lost. And so, um, you know, it was just so surprising how so many people were not capable of communicating and writing well, nor reading. And, and I mean, that's illiteracy. Well, really. right, no, absolutely. Yeah. And we hear about that so much uh, with today's young people, right? Because they are communicating over text and yeah. maybe reaching for their device uh, to read, but there's something to be said there, there about is. picking yeah. up a great book. So we're trying to inspire uh, definitely a new generation of writers. Yeah. And uh, people who are book lovers, we want them coming out. Mm -hmm. We also try to encourage people who want to, uh, do, because we have a charitable focus on a food drive, mm -hmm. because a lot of people, homeless, working poor, 15, this citizen reported that 15 out of 100 people yeah. uh, suffer, depend on food banks. So we're, we have a food drive. Right. People are encouraged to bring food donations. Yeah. And, um, non -perishable. Yeah, non-perishable. Non-perishable. Yeah. Non-perishable. Yeah. We don't want ice cream or anything like that. <laughs> and uh, if there's any last minute exhibitors, we're pretty much sold out as far as exhibitors. Mm -hmm. But we invite them to check out Ottawa Book expo.ca or Ottawa Fair because we're not only interested in authors but anybody who thinks they have an interesting artisanal business present Ottawa. All right. So, yeah, I love that. It's really uh, all about uh, encouraging creativity, exactly. learning, and charity at and home. Yeah. About yes. the creativity, we're trying to combine and have people meet from various walks of life. And mm -hmm. that's why we're having the Ottawa Book Expo in conjunction with the Ottawa Fair at the Horticulture Building at Lansdowne Park. So sure. we're trying to urbanize mm -hmm. um, this kind of synergy of different groups and to expose people to each other and yeah. to draw strength and power from that. I know, and isn't that wonderful, right? For the for the whole community to come together, celebrating the work of local authors. Absolutely. And yeah. encouraging some new and really emerging authors. From Rome, but yeah. I think this is the first bilingual book fair, right? Fully bilingual yeah, book fair. Yes, this is bilingual. We encourage French authors, English-speaking authors, and here's some of the fabulous work by different authors we have there, like uh, great uh, author, he's actually from the States, but we published it in Canada, Mike Lee, he did a funny book of poetry, and French author, the Adolescence. Uh, Guys, this Italian. is fantastic. fantastic, and yeah. yeah, it really looks wonderful, and uh, lots of reasons uh, yeah, to come definitely. and participate awesome. in this fabulous yeah. event. Thank you very much. Thank you for your Thank time. You, Thanks for that. coming, and it's in the Horticulture Building. Uh, Sunday, Sunday October Sunday, 20th, 10 a.m. There we go. We got, we got it. We got it. Wesley and Annette. Great food. <laughs> Hire those guys. <laughs> <All right. laughs>